hallowed world of reggae, where the soulful rhythms and conscious lyrics blend in harmony. One name shines brightly among the stars, Coco T. A true maestro of the genre, his smooth, easygoing vocal presentation has become his signature, resonating with audiences far and wide, making him a revered and versatile artist. Born Calvin George Scott on the third day of September in the year 1959, in the tranquil embrace of Rocky Point, Clarendon, Oko T's destiny seemed interwoven with the very fabric of music itself. Schooled at the Savannah Primary School in Rocky Point and later at the Bustamante Junior Secondary School in Lionel Town, Clarendon, his early exposure to singing in church and school choirs foretold the greatness that lay ahead. In the tender age of just 14, Oko T made his foray into the music world with his debut song, Searching in the Hills, an earnest endeavor that, alas, didn't find immediate financial success. However, fueled by his unwavering passion, he embarked on a journey to explore life beyond music, first as a jockey, and then as a fisherman. Yet, fate had other plans for this prodigious talent. As the dancer halls became his training grounds, Coco T's lyrical prowess found an eager audience. Testing his lyrics on various sound systems that graced his neighborhood, his talent flourished, and he felt an undeniable pull towards a lifelong musical odyssey. The birth of his first child, Rashen, proved to be the catalyst that sealed his fate, beckoning him to embrace music as his true calling. Guided by destiny, Coco T's path led him to the illustrious Henry Junjo Laws in the vibrant city of Kingston. Their union bore the fruits of unforgettable anthems, with songs like Who's the Champion and Rockin' Dolly garnering immense success. Coco T's magnetic vocals resonated with fans worldwide, with hits like I Lost My Sonia, Christmas Is Coming, and On Top of the World etching his name in reggae history. Embracing the Rastafarian faith in 1985, Coco T's music took a conscious turn. Songs like Settle Down, Don't Be Shine, and Too Much Fussing and Fighting reflected his newfound spiritual journey. His lyrics, imbued with profound messages, resonated with listeners, touching their souls. Amidst the highs and lows, Coco T's music remained a beacon of inspiration, taking on topical subjects like the war in the Middle East in his thought-provoking oil ting a band yet chart-topping single in England. His sixth album, aptly named Authorized, continued to captivate audiences with hits like May Day on the Way, Woman Hunted, Wanted, and Evaluation. The stage became Coco T's canvas, and he painted it with boundless energy, captivating audiences across the globe. From extensive tours in the U.S., Canada, the Caribbean, and Japan to his iconic performances at Reggae Sunsplash, his passion knew no bounds. Whether performing for two hours non-stop in Canada or amidst the pouring rain for a crowd of 10,000 in St. Goa, Coco T's devotion to his craft knew no limits. His name, Coco T, an endearing mode to his love for hot cocoa, serves as a testament to his down-to-earth nature. He finds his inspiration in Ja, aiming to be a beacon of learning and inspiration like the great Bob Marley. For him, music is not just a means of artistic expression, it's a conduit to uplift souls, guiding them towards higher consciousness. As he once remarked, if one of my songs can be remembered and or quoted, and be of inspiration or guidance to anyone, then I shall be forever happy with my contribution musically. Tonight, as we honor the legendary Coco T with this Lifetime Achievement Award, let us celebrate the musical legacy of this reggae icon, whose melodies continue to resonate with the hearts of millions.